Welcome, and thank you for joining us for another one of Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews. I am Mike, and with me as always is Billy. And today, we bring you the Buna Haven, 25-year-old XXV. 750 milliliter. 46.3% ABV, Billy. I'm getting drunk on this one. Unchill filtered, uncolored. And let me give a quick shout out to Roy at Aqua Vitae. Roy! We followed your ABCD with this, Roy. A for age statement, 25 years. B for bottling strength, 46.3. C for non colored. And D. D's nut. Oh, we're saying. C is non chill filtered, and D is dye, which means non colored. So, talk a little bit, Billy. What do you think about this box? <laughs> Super nice box, right? Over the top! They're trying to make it worth more than it is. Not an expensive bottle for a 25-year-old whiskey. You know what I mean? Picked up for two thirty. It looks like it's in a little casket. Like, it's got a little pillow up here and everything. It's kind of like leftover army canvas. It is. It's rough material inside. I wouldn't want to wear that on my face. No. Like a jihad. It's what uh, Joshua Stallone wore in First Blood. Yeah. Remember when he put the canvas tarp over it? I was like, oh, that's got to be uncomfortable. Didn't give a fuck. Sliced in love. You know he wrote all those movies? He's a, no, not First Blood. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. And he also wrote all the Rocky movies. Yeah, I think he sold the Rocky movie. I think he had to sell his dog or something like that. Like to, crazy. to sell the thing and he got the dog back. Paid. Paid. It worked out for him. Also, um, in the box that came this little leaflet um, that has like a shoestring in it with like the song about Buna Hobbin and like tasting notes. So, good good presentation. For those of you that, that don't know anything about Buna Hobbin, it is an... Isla Distillery. It's on the... Obviously. Yeah, Have you drank anything else besides Isla? We, so drink? we drink a lot of Islas. Um, North Coast. Boone Heaven stands for, I believe, River Mouth or Mouth of the River. Badass. That's what it stands for. We've done the Toe Cheech and we have done the 12 year olds. This is the third Boone Heaven that we're bringing you. And hopefully, we'll bring the 18 year old here soon. Maybe the Wachichu. Mm hmm. Little squatty bottle, Billy. Yeah, just like my butt. And I tell you what, my friend, I love the little that little captain guy on there. He's like, got the wheel. He's like, what up, dude? Westerine Ho. And I tell you what, I love that number 25 on there. 25 year old whiskey seemed to be my sweet spot. Person. Same age as us. Yeah. At one spot at a time. Back in the day. All right, so let's get in this Boone Habin 2.5. First bottle of it I've ever had, so I've experienced it somewhat, Billy. And we had a little bit off camera. I wonder if the, wonder if the people watching notice anything different about Billy today. I had to take a double take when I saw him. Like, look at me. Like, look at me and let me stare at you for a second. He does that all the time. Like, that's, that's not him. Yeah, that's not him. All right, so Boone Habin 25, Bill. Again, Isla Distillery, 46.3% ABV. Even says right here in the bottle, not colored and not chill filtered. So, checks every one of Roy's from Aqua Vitae's bucket list as far as what to do as far as looking at whiskeys. We have all of the things going in our favor, Bill. Isla, high proof, 25 years old, no color, no chill filter. And let's talk for a minute about that color. Caramel. Dude. Dark caramel. Dude. Dark, dark, dark you know caramel. What I mean? Like super dark caramel. This could be one of the darkest ones we've ever drank. It's pretty it's dark. It's right. I wouldn't say it's as dark as say the Macau 18 or the Balvini 15 year old sherry cask, but it's dark. Bill, what kind of legs you get on this bad boy? Slow. Yeah, it's oily. Oh, you know what? They're all maturing and falling at the same time, so it does it looks like there's no legs. But when you, it's like some, your fingernail gets those like weird little growths on it, you know what I mean? It looks like a pie chart. Ridges. It's like ridges. Yeah, like a pie chart. <whistles> Buddy. Oily. We, I'm not going to lie to you, camera. I'm not going to lie to you. Because all of you are camera to me. So I just see a camera. Oh. We tried this a second ago. And it is <gasps> delicious. I almost took my shirt off, but Mike said no. Right away, the first smell I get is two things. One, caramel. Like a lovely, rich, dense, thick, sugary caramel. A good, the good caramel. The good caramel. The very first thing I get, I do woodworking when I'm not tattooing or drinking whiskey with this guy. Very first thing I get is like a polyurethane or some type of stain that I'm putting on a wood. Um, really interesting that I picked that up. I don't know why. And, there's, and then I get like a leathery, like a comfortable leather, like your great-grandfather's motorcycle jacket that he wore for 70 years, and it's just like, it's like cotton almost, so broke in. You know like, what I'm saying? Like armchair. Like, like armchair. Like leather Cast armchair. 
Caskin is what I'm looking for. Like, you ever been on those couches that had, like, the deep buttons in it? Oh, yeah. And it's like, you know, you could, like... You could put you could put an egg in one of those buttons and the egg Sit wouldn't down move on it. Off. It wouldn't even matter. Right, it wouldn't yeah. even matter. It's like it's like that smell once you put leather cleaner on it, like a polish, yeah. not a cleaner, like a polish. And then I go right to like a. It's good. It's complex. <sighs> now the caramels can take a little bit of a step back. Now I've had been the glass. See, for me, minutes. this is when the for me this is when the caramels just coming out. And brown sugar, I get brown sugar caramel, and a toasted like, like when I was in Belize, you know, the coconut is or the coconut. Chocolate is made from the cacao, right? The cacao plant, and the cacao beans that are in the pot. So sometimes they would just have those roasted. And you get there is a bitter, there's like a roasted dark, dark bitter chocolate. chocolate. Oh yeah. yeah, so good. And I don't even fuck with milk chocolate, y'all. For real, if it's not over seventy, I can't even eat chocolate. You get up into the eighties and nineties, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. You ain't getting none. Is that how it is? There's a red berry too. And, and what I, I don't get that he does. Maybe a cranberry, if I'm saying something. Well, you know, I'm always have to make up a berry. If you ever have a strawberry, the when he, it's um, <laughs> wait, snozberry? Is he gonna invent a snozberry right snozberries now? Snozberries just taste like snozberries. No, like a strawberry that remember when it goes um, when it goes bad, like it turns dark, like I a dark red. They don't stay that long in my house. They never go bad. Well, not necessarily go bad, but just like maybe 12 hours too old, like where it's, it's losing some of the red color. It's getting mushy. Yeah, it's getting mushy. So those strawberries to me like lose all their tartness and it's a lot more sugary. Can I spit on you? No, I got like a weird itch right there and it feels like it's going to twitch on me. Like, it was going to calm that down. Hello. Um, but yeah, so that's, I, I kind of get that as well. But I, I tell you what, to me, and I, I may be the only person saying this, if any of you know what juicy fruit gum is, after it's been in the glass for just, after the caramel comes, and after the berry and the bitterness, then like this, the only way I can say is like juicy fruit gum, once you put it in your mouth and like chew it for about five or 10 seconds, like when there's really a lot of um, flavor in your mouth from the juicy fruit gum, it smells like that. What are you going Leather, mouth? leather, right off the rip. Rawhide. Tingly, love, you know I love that, because I knew I drank some shit. Caramel coming right up in there. Um, America has a gum called Juicy Fruit, which Mike was just explaining to you. And it's hard to guess the flavor, so I looked it up one day. The flavor of Juicy Fruit gum is pineapple mixed with banana. Interesting little fact. And you do almost get like a really ripe banana. He's not lying. Or he's talking me into it like he does. But I get that coffee thing right now. I'm getting coffee. I'm getting the nuttiness. I'm getting... Chocolatey caramel espresso, like the finishing taste of an espresso after you've swallowed it and you had a breath or two. Like, I love this. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of those things, but oaky, a little bit of oakiness. Not over that. It, it was really, really refined on the palate. As soon as you swallow, the bitter and chocolate comes right away. But it's just, it's, it's. I said juicy fruit, but it's just juicy. Yeah. Like yeah. it's just, yeah. it's just like a very yeah. moist, wet. I know it's liquid, but I don't, I don't know how... It makes your mouth water. Yeah, yeah. It just... And just, by the way, I'm still tingling. I don't know how long it's been. You can check the minutes. I'm still tingly. I can still, like, feel it's that so I had alive. something. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. so... Because I mean, this isn't a crazy high ABV. It's 46.3. I'm not... It's not 55. It's not Grandma's Moonshine. So, all I'm saying is the alcohol isn't driving the flavor. And there's so many flavors. You're right, though. You do get a leathery characteristic to it, you know, kind of after a while. Like, freshly tanned hide. But now it's, like, it's calming down. And it's refining all those like sugary things, like the caramel and the brown sugar and the, the sort of espresso chocolate kind of like it's it's this is a crazy whiskey. It changes on you while you're like just chilling, just doing a good ah, I'm gonna do this now. It's like some kind of witchcraft, Mike. I tell you what, there is some red berry. I, I'm not struggling to put my finger on what it is. It, oh it's no tartness to it. Cause I, I think red berry, like you think, you know, you get a little bit of tartness with the sweetness of I got the red some berry. Bitter like, I'm not getting any. I've been eating really spicy food for two days, so maybe that's affecting my palate. But we always differ. He's always got more of a sweet palate. I think secretly he just lays around eating lifesavers. You know what I mean? I'm not a big candy person. Like, just like normally. I, mean, I don't Have you really seen his have girlfriend? Candy. She loves candy. She loves She's chocolate. She's eye candy. <laughs> Whew. She does love chocolate, though. Okay, so I put just a dab of water in here. Um, it's a couple drops. To me, that juicy oh, fruit comes up more. It, it does sweeten it up a bit. It does. It really does sweeten it up a bit. And it smells juicier again. I mean, for being, being an oak for a quarter of a century, man. I think I'm getting like an apple-y. I don't know. Like, 
I'm definitely feeling a fruitier thing now, but it's not. I don't get red. It's like a small fruit. Whatever it is it's small. So I don't think it's anything as big as an apple. You know what kind of fruit it is? I mean, maybe a blood orange, like a chocolate covered Ooh. blood orange with some nuts on it. These. I tell you what, though. You know, like always, we're describing flavors that come to mind. This Everybody's is, palate's different. Yeah, this, but this is an incredible whiskey. This is incredible. I mean, it's pricey. It's 230 bucks. It's not the cheapest whiskey. I'm supposed whiskey. to be spitting right now. I'm going to spit this out. This is gold. No. This is gold. No. I tell you what, Buna Habin, it's the squatty bottle. It's hard to see exactly where the whiskey level is. You can if you, you can kind you of can move barely, it around. Yeah. You can see. It's like it's about, about right here or whatever. I've had this bottle for maybe three or four weeks. It is so good, though. I gotta give me another bottle of this. Oh, again, very juicy, chocolate, bitterness, nuts, caramel. Oh, it's good. And it keeps moving around and evolving. Like you know, the caramel was initially at first, then it kind of went away, and then I added water. At first, it was like a, like more of the the berries again, and then instantly and chocolate, and then instantly I get the caramel just out of nowhere again. It's almost like it's not mixed together. It's like different layers, like where it's just. A confection that it's almost like you ever have like the vanilla and chocolate ice cream. Like so, this side tastes yeah, like chocolate, yeah, you go yeah. vanilla, tastes like vanilla. It feels like this moves around, and depending on like where we smell it, I would always lick right in the middle. <laughs> and how we smell it, it's it's weird how the caramel and for, the sweetness and the bitterness just kind of gums back and forth and back and forth. For me, the water really opened up the sweetness on that. I don't get that leathery taste anymore. Um. It really opened up the sweetness. The, the caramels came through immediately on me. Mm -hmm. um, now I'm starting to get that kind of waxy, nice little feeling. I'm getting I'm now I'm getting more of the coffee, not an espresso bean anymore, like a coffee, uh, more toffee than caramel. I think it's good. Go buy this right now. And then, you know what else is a good thing to do right now? Oh, it's so sweet with water. Show them. Show them what to do. Boom! You just liked it. Oh my God! Cost you nothing. If you thought we earned it. Wow, I tell you what. We, we are. It's candied now with yeah. the water. It's so good. Mm. The orange is coming through really now. Yeah. It's been a minute, so it's like... Blood orange with chocolate. Because again, initially when I swallow, instantly bitter chocolate. But it only, yeah. it only comes up just a little bit. Yeah. Remember like the Avenal, like it came up like basically the, the front of your just mouth. Just like... Rrr. And then it wrapped around and grabbed your ears and pulled your head down. Damn, chocolate. Yeah. Um, this isn't like that. It's just a little bit chocolate here at first, then it quickly subsides... And then goes to some of the other characteristics. Sweet caramel. Again, I'm getting a leathery characteristic. I think it's just so mouth-coating and oily. That, I think, is driving that leather, as far as on yeah. the paddle, that leathery kind of taste in my mind. It's wow. Good. Great whiskey. Great. Great, Great whiskey. whiskey. And you know what I was doing? I was actually down the street um, at that Northwest Wine and Spirits. Yeah. So I could see, hey, you know, because I know that's where you buy your liquor, you know, mm -hmm. when you buy the whiskeys you bring to the channel. And I was like, I'm going to check out what they have. I remember I was walking by, and uh, um, uh, a couple owns it, uh, an older couple, and the woman was working there, the wife. I was kind of walking by, she said hi, and I happened to look at her behind the register because she said hi. And I was like, oh, how you doing? And then I stopped. I was like, what is that behind you? You know, on that upper shelf that, like, customers can't touch on the shelves. And yeah. she said, well, I'm not sure exactly. I'm like, I think that's a Bunahaven 25-year-old. Like, I've never even seen it other than on Master of Molt. And sure enough, it was. And I figured, you know, I figured this would be four or five hundred dollars. That's what it is on Master Ball. I think it's like three sixty-five plus shipping, two thirty. Dang! So we got we got lucky with this one. Yeah. I posted this on my uh, whiskey group, Scotch Addicts, and I told some people what I had paid for, it, and they were just like, "Wow, that's a great deal." People in California, <laughs> people in Scotland, even. You know what I mean? Cool. Um, even those gentlemen. While you're talking, this. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this while you're talking. It's, it's delicious. Yeah, and it's good long finish. The finish stays with you. Again, the chocolate's still here, and again, it's just it's just right at the beginning. You get the chocolate, and then it's just juicy and fruity in the front of the palate. It's so many things at once. It's not. I'll tell you what it's not. What? Butthole. <laughs> it is. That, 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 that got a, a good uh, comment. We were watching, uh, we were watching uh, Aqua Vitae, and uh, Billy mentioned that tasty note on uh, the Kill Homan. And the guy was talking, and, I, and uh, Roy seemed pretty confused. He, he wasn't in on the joke. <laughs> Sorry, Roy. <laughs> you must not have watched that video, Roy. Check it out. Video 79. Then you'll understand. But, uh, no, there's just nothing but sweetness and goodness. Man, this is a great, unpeated, 
smooth. It has peat. It's very, very, very low. Two yeah. or three parts per million, maybe. I believe this is an unpeated version. I don't get version. any peat out of there. No. I really don't get any oakiness. I mean, just a little, little bit. And again, on 25 years, you figured there'd be more oakiness. Right, right. There really isn't. I um, I had one of my Christmas parties last night, and I was drinking Macallan 25. And, man, that's, there was a lot of oak in that, from yeah. what I remembered. Yeah. You know, and then, you know, tasting this 25-year-old. And we are bringing the Macallan 25 here. We're planning to do it on Christmas. Um, but, you know, that's an oaky, woody whiskey yeah. comparatively to this 25-year-old, which surprised me because Macallan is right. the Macallan. You right. know, this is just Boonahab. But Boonahabin did a great piece of work with this 25-year-old, extremely reasonably priced. You know, if you're fortunate enough to have this, you know, uh, accessible to you, it's absolutely worth a buy. Um, I was actually, for this price point, going to buy another um, Glen Morangy Signet. Mm -hmm. And I saw this. I was like, yeah. no, I'm going to try this. And yeah. I, was, I thought to myself, well, for the investment, I hope it's at least as good of an experience. Right. It's better. It's good. Oh, this is, this is a so great good. whiskey. So where are you at as far as the score? 91. 92. I mean, this is one of the better whiskeys I've had. I mean, this is right up there whiskey experience-wise with... It's good. You know, some of their 92s were like the Macallan 18. Um, mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I can't think of a ton off the top of my head. Uh, they got that high of a score, but this is really up there with that. This it's is a delicious. really great whiskey. And I'm a big fan of the 12. I like the Toe Teach. Um, I like Boone Haven. I'm happy that I can get more Boone Havens here, and they just kind of started rolling in. Yeah. So, Boone Haven, we appreciate your whiskeys. Yeah, send us I'm free a big shit. fan. Send us free stuff. We'll drink Double it. X t shirt, medium. It's medium to small. Schmied. Short. Uh, anyway, it's time for you to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the like button. We don't do this shit for fun. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we, do. <laughs> we totally do. Oh, um, I will say this. We've got a nice little uptick in subscribers lately, so for those of you who just came on the channel, welcome. Um, be a part of the conversation. I'm always uh, getting all the comments, you know, if you don't have to wait more than a day or so for me to reply. So be a part of the conversation. If you've had this bottle, tell me what you think of it. Um, if you had other Buna Habins, I would love to hear about your experience with them because I definitely want to bring more. I want to bring the 18, a couple yeah. of the other Buna Habins. They only do a few age statements. They do like the 12, the 18, and the 25, and they do some non-age statements. So if any of you see some non-age statements out there, um, let us know if you think it's worthy of us trying it out. But until next time, we want to thank you for joining us for another one of Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews. We want to thank you for inviting us into your homes to talk about whiskey. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. We do appreciate it. We see in the analytics. We do appreciate everyone going there. And Billy, I want to talk a little bit about analytics. That analytics. I just looked at. Nothing to get a lot of ladies commenting, not my girlfriend, um, other than her, but actually 10% of our audience is ladies as far as views. I don't know about subscriptions, but as far as It could be dudes views, looking at their lady's computer and she's logged in. That's why I want to know. Any ladies who are out there, not you, honey, any other <laughs> ladies who are out there, comment, um, you know, tell us what you think, uh, what part of the world you're from, what your favorite whiskey is, you know, and let's just let's have a conversation. How cute I am. <laughs> How cute Billy is. What do you think of his new Amish style? Uh, shaving job. I like it. Do us a favor. Happy drinking. Happy drinking, folks. See you next time. Until then, I'll be in the comments section.